Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yutze. Here's a look at your top stories on this Wednesday morning. Donald Trump supporters in Palm Beach County rallying ahead of a possible indictment against the former president over allegations about hush money payments during his 2016 campaign. Over the weekend, the former president took to his social media platform, encouraging supporters to protest after he claimed he would be arrested yesterday. That did not happen. Trump's legal woes are mounting. According to ABC sources, a federal judge found there is preliminary evidence Trump broke the law in his classified documents case. In the wake of the spring break chaos, Miami Beach City commissioners deciding against a second curfew, they will force early closures for liquor stores. This weekend, thousands visiting Bayfront Park for the Ultra Music Festival. South Beach liquor stores are set to close at 6 p.m. Owners are pushing back, saying this will not stop the madness. All this comes as Miami Beach struggles for another year to combat spring break violence, including two fatal shootings over the weekend. Back to business in North Miami Beach. A judge ordered three no-show commissioners to return to City Hall. The manager and city attorney both under scrutiny by colleagues and state observers for misspending and malfeasance. Formerly no-show commissioners are questioning the mayor's residency as two others insist many missed too many days to keep their seats. According to a charter, the manager was terminated and the city attorney resigned rather than be fired. And opening statements beginning yesterday in the trial for the co-founder of Presidente Supermarkets, Manuel Marin, allegedly devised a murder-for-hire plot against Camilo Salazar after learning that the interior designer reportedly had an affair with his wife in 2011. Jurors were shown grisly crime scene photos of the victim's burned body. According to prosecutors, three men kidnapped, tortured Salazar before killing him. Defense attorneys argue Marin was out of the country and had absolutely nothing to do with it. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online at local10.com throughout the day for more local, local news coverage and updates.